more than anything else. Tell them, say, my eyes might deceive me, but I got to make sure my ears hear clear. When he says here, talking about in the 20th verse, he says, he says, let them not depart from thy eye. That is not talking about your natural eye. It's talking about your perception, your understanding, your visual look. What are you looking at? What do you visually see going on in your life? Just because you're being challenged don't mean that you've been defeated. Just because you're going through a storm don't mean you're going to drown. Just because the enemy is coming at you don't mean that David can't throw a stone at Goliath. Look at me, somebody. Now look at me. Just because things are uncomfortable for you right now don't mean you should move. I'm, I, I, I'm so tired of everybody talking to my brother, you know, I need to move because things are uncomfortable for me right now. What if it, God told you that that's your place and the enemy came to take your place from you and he wants you to be uncomfortable so you move out of your place. Don't you get this at 10 o'clock, get this right now because I promise you, if you hear now what God is saying, you're going to get an instant victory. You're going to get an immediate recovery. You're going to get an immediate recovery. He said there are certain things that are coming out of your life right now. Issues are coming out. When a woman has an issue of blood once a month, she gets rid of dead things, things that didn't come to pass, dreams that didn't come to pass, babies that didn't come to pass. Stuff happens in the lining of a uterus, and the lining of the uterus discards everything. I know you don't want to hear this, but I took health back in the day. I don't know if they still give it, Elder Renee, but health did us good. Health taught us how to keep clean. Health taught us some stuff. And let me tell you something when issues of life are discarding themselves you have no business holding on to them you have no business trying to form any new life out of dead life you have no business trying to make stuff happen when God says sit still and learn and understand you have no business trying to get nothing stirred up in a season when issues are departing from your life you've got to understand you've been living your life however old you are and you bought in issues you bought in the issues of blood you bought in the issues of life you bought in the issues of pain you bought in the issues of mistrust and God says I'm trying to get those things out of your life oh I wish I could get some help up in this church you gotta understand God gotta let things discard in your life you gotta stop crying over people that go when they go they got to go because it's an issue of life giving you is life. I'm giving you something to hold on to when I'm not here. How many of y'all heard that from your parents? Baby, I'm trying to get you ready for when I'm not here. Oh, I'm trying to give you something for when I'm not around. I'm trying to make you strong so you can stand. Talk to me somebody. If you let the things that happen in your life be discarded because you don't need them. Tell somebody if you're making me cry, I don't need you. If you're keeping me up, I don't need you. If I can't trust you I don't need you if you're making me weary tired and vexing me I don't want you tell somebody get rid of the issues uh, that are keeping you up uh, your might as well follow me because God said to tell you your heart uh, will begin to discard uh, anything that is not profitable anything that is not beneficial anything that is not hopeful anything that is not right uh, anything that tears you down Anything that builds your weak, anything that makes you weary, God said, I'm gonna let you have an issue of blood. <laughs> 